So with the release of iOS 13 for your iPhone, Apple have made it so you can connect your Xbox One controller via Bluetooth to your iPhone. If that's something you're interested in, please do carry on watching. So to get your Xbox controller working with your iPhone, in iOS, you need a specific type of controller that supports Bluetooth. But before we go into the controllers, let's just make sure that we are running the correct version of iOS. So to do this, we need to open settings on your iPhone, go down into general, and then click on about. And then you can see there that this phone is running at software version 13.1. So anything iOS 13 and above, will allow us to connect our Xbox controller via Bluetooth. So on the desk here, I have two different types of Xbox controller, and this is the older style controller. And you can tell usually by the separate plastic around the top, uh, it has a separate molding, as I'm indicating there with my finger. Uh, whereas the new one that supports Bluetooth is formed in a sort of one piece uh, plastic. So that's the usual uh, giveaway if you're checking your controllers. Uh, but also there is a model number on the back that we can check to see if we have the compatible version. So this particular controller, this older controller, if we can just get the camera to focus, is model number 1697. Uh, and this particular controller is not compatible. Uh, so you can't connect this via Bluetooth, uh, basically because it doesn't have Bluetooth built into it. Um, even the Elite controllers, the Elite One, uh, doesn't have uh, Bluetooth built in, which is a shame for a 120, 140 pound controller. But anyway, that's the one that's not compatible. Getting to the one that is compatible, this is an Xbox Scorpio Edition controller, uh, and also it comes with the Xbox One S. But this particular model is model number 1708, as you can see there indicated by the arrow. So as well as the iOS 13, you also need to make sure that obviously you have the right controller and the most up-to-date controller, if that's the one that's come with your Xbox One S, or if that's one that's come with your uh, Scorpio or Xbox One X um, Xbox edition. But anyway, let's get this to one side, put the one that's not compatible to one side and let's get some batteries in the correct version, in the Bluetooth uh, version of the Xbox controller. Uh, and then we can look at connecting it on the iPhone. So we'll get the batteries into the controller. And just before we power up the uh, Xbox controller, we'll um, go onto the iPhone and we'll go into the uh, Bluetooth settings. So obviously pick up your iPhone, go into settings and we want to go to the uh, Bluetooth menu. So find Bluetooth in settings. And then this is a list of things that's currently in my uh, Bluetooth that my phone is currently connected to. So we're, now we need to switch on the Xbox controller. Now, if it's already paired to an Xbox, we will have to uh, push the pairing key on the top. So I'll, I'll show you this. Uh, obviously, if you've got a controller, you're probably pretty familiar with this already, but just in case you bought one uh, specifically to use with your iPhone, uh, then you need to push the sync button along the top. Uh, and also you need to do that if um, it's already paired to your Xbox, so you can repair it to uh, your phone. So push the sync key until the middle Xbox light starts flashing, as you can see in the picture, as you can see on the video there. And then you can see that it is listed in the Bluetooth settings. So click on where it says other devices, and then it should move up into my devices and tell you that it is now connected. So that's great. That's, the, that's how to connect the Xbox One uh, X or Xbox One S controller to your iPhone. So now we have our Xbox controller connected to our iPhone. It is time to give it a test. So controller support is not supported in all games. Uh, I'm going to be using it in a game called Snow Free, which is basically a snowboarding game. But if you want to go on the internet and have a search for which games are compatible with controllers, uh, then there are plenty of them out there now. So we'll open this game and let's give it a quick test. And as you can see, it works just fine. So controller support on the iPhone using a Xbox One controller is 
working just fine with the iOS 13. So that's it. That's the end of the video. Uh, short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel. It all helps. Please hit me up with any comments below and also hit the like button and hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new videos that I do. Thanks again for watching the Computer Lab on YouTube and please do subscribe.